Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones from Projector Reviews, and we get asked a lot about um, different display technologies. And one of the most popular display technologies you're going to see in a modern projector is DLP technology. So we want to bring in an expert to talk about the benefits of DLP technology. So joining me is Ward Pimpkin from TI. So Ward, thank you for coming. It's great to be here, fellow. Before we get started, we'd like to thank AV Pro Edge and Meridio for sponsoring this year's Spring Projection Showcase, where we get to talk about all the things you need to design a great projection system for a residential or commercial application. We want to talk about DLP technology. So can you please explain a little bit about the technology? DLP technology uh, takes millions of tiny mirrors, puts them into an array, moves each mirror 100,000 times a second and creates beautiful colors and images and videos. And I brought a couple of devices with me here today as a little show and tell so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the first one here is a very special one. It's called the Big 4K inside TI. It's the biggest device we make. Uh, it's capable of 60,000 lumens or more. Uh, it's used in cinema and large venue. And, and you can see um, it looks like a device with a window and then it has looks like it has a big mirror in it. Uh, what's really going on is that's 8 million microscopic mirrors all in one array. And each of the mirrors is moving hundreds of thousands of times a second. Uh, so that's big 4K. And then I brought another one here. This one's kind of special. The engineers have played with this one and they've pre-tilted the mirrors. This is big 2K. They pre-tilted the mirrors so that you can see the DLP logo in the mirrors. So that's kind of cool. That is that is really, really cool. Now, um, the question I have for you is when we think about DLP technology, the first thing that comes into everybody's minds is projectors, projectors, projectors. But there's other applications for DLP technology, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but there are non-display applications for DLP. So DLP is the core technology in uh, lithography machines, uh, in 3D print, uh, and it's even part of automotive headlights. And uh, actually, there are hundreds of applications for DLP, there are, and there are more every day. So non-display is, is uh, just as exciting as display for DLP technology. I didn't know that until I talked to you. Now, DLP technology chips are available in a variety of different resolutions. But today, we're going to talk about the one that I get asked the most about, 4K, 4K, 4K. Can you talk about the types of applications that someone would maybe want to utilize 4K resolution via DLP technology? Well, I can really think of three categories. Um, one is home entertainment, of course. Uh, the other is Pro AV, and then the third one would be large venue. And uh, so let me break those down a little bit. Uh, home entertainment, of course, 4K UHD makes a great home theater. It's uh, a very rich, immersive experience. Um, but there's a new en entertainment application that I like to talk about as well, and that's 4K UHD laser TV. So these are super cool uh, new boxes. They are good looking boxes. You just put them right up against the wall and they're really easy to install. Uh, the idea is that uh, these projectors use something called ultra short throw optics uh, to angle the light um, so, so high that uh, the box can sit right next to the wall and the full image uh, displays on the wall. And you can use it on a regular wall or you can use it on, uh, on a, what's called an ambient light rejection screen. Uh, and, and that's for the ultimate thin TV. And uh, the look of these screens is just beautiful. It, it just appears to glow the color and the contrast out at you. Uh, it's really one of the most beautiful displays that there's ever been. Yeah, and it seems like that it's becoming a growing segment in the industry. I can't tell you how many laser TV or TV replacement solutions um, we have reviewed over the last two years because it gives you all the benefits of a very big 
display. There's no way you can match it um, dollars per inch using a traditional flat panel. With that massive amount of resolution, the benefit of 4K is you can sit closer to a larger image and it's going to be clear. So now you can utilize all of that resolution on screens that are approaching nine, 10 feet um, diagonal. And um, when you combine a DLP technology with the latest in laser um, light engines and smart capabilities, you get all of the benefits of a flat panel on something on a screen that is absolutely gigantic. So I can see um, why they are becoming more and more popular. So we talked about the, 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 the laser TV, we talked about more traditional home theater, but there's another application for like a military guy or a college student. You wanna talk about that? Yeah, what you're talking about is mobility. So uh, another category of projector that, that DLP uh, technology is used in is called a Pico projector. These are really small projectors. Uh, they're, they're so mobile that you can move them from room to room. You can even take them outside and go wherever you want to with them. Um, it's called a Pico projector, and these come in 4K UHD as well. You can read a post a review on one model and um, built in nicer quality speakers built in. It has a battery that will not only charge the device, but maybe even your phone or your laptop. And the battery lasts for four hours. So literally you can grab this little projector, maybe a, a little portable screen, or just take the projector and project it onto a white wall in a, a dorm room, a, a hotel room, or even a small an apartment, and, and not even have to worry about running power to the device. So we have all these cool consumer applications, but also um, DLP technology is actually one of the leading technologies utilized in professional applications as well. So talk a little bit about that. Well, so for pro applications, um, you're looking for detail uh, for engineering and science applications. You're looking for readability for business and school. Um, there are there are many pro AV applications that benefit from 4K. I, I can think of museums, theme parks, uh, higher education, simulation. The the value that 4K UHD is bringing to them is in uh, science and engineering, as an example. We I mean, think of medical imaging, think of geological surveys. The detail is super important. But, you know, readability is also important in the office and at school. And so bringing 4K to those places uh, also makes sense. So, so uh, it makes a great business projector, higher education. Um, it makes a great higher education projector. I've been messing around with 4K displays for a, a while. And I can't do, I, I work, it's so, it's such a better tool for collaboration. You, because remember you have a, say you have a 180 inch screen in a conference room, you can break that into 490 inch um, HD displays if you want to. So if you're trying to compare presentations or, or different designs for a, maybe a flyer or a banner, um, believe me, look an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> is a wonder on a 180 inch screen 4k projector because you can get more of the sales in. And um, and like we, we talked about, bigger image, um, sharper, and you can sit closer to it, being able to walk right up on it and, and be able to still have fine text and everything else. It's amazing. Um, I just did a, a session with um, a company that makes um, whiteboard projection screens to go along with this. So you can literally walk up to it and make notes um, change this skirt or, you know, you know, the, uh, there's a, you know, you can see problems off in the distance and right on the whiteboard. So when we talk about collaboration. Um, it is an amazing tool. I just want to add to that. Um, I've seen a number of sharing applications, uh, you know, sometimes to do with teleconferencing and, and the idea is, um, you know, one person's 1080p screens compared to another person's 1080p screen. And that doesn't work very well if you're displaying on one 1080p screen. Uh, it squishes <laughs> everything down. But if you've got 4K, you can do those side-by-side -side 1080p comparisons, and it looks great. Exactly. So there's a lot of applications there. So, so besides even museums, hotels, classrooms, boardrooms, conference rooms, large cinemas, as well as large venue. 
So yeah. talk a little bit about large venue. Yeah, so there's there's probably three top criteria for a great large venue display. The first one is ultimate reliability um, because mm -hmm. large venue display is usually mission critical. The, the display has to happen or the event doesn't happen. And, and so the cool thing about DLP is um, it's, it's totally reliable, very, very uh, reliable technology. It goes very well in, in large venue. The second thing you need is, you know, imagine you're outside painting the side of a building for a warp and map application. Your, your surface area that you're displaying to is huge. You need all the pixels of 4K UHD to make that work. So the detail of, of 8 megapixel 4K UHD is important. Of course, the third piece is, is uh, brightness. And, and so large venue can go way high, 60,000 or more lumens. And, and so why DLP is so successful in large venue is it's got all three of those things, reliability, pixel density, and super brightness. You know what? DLP DLP equipped DLP technology equipped projectors always seem to be brighter, and then I looked at it and said, "Oh, because uh, because you're using mirrors to take that all of that light that strikes that image that uh that imager comes back out that lens. It doesn't have yeah. to go through it, so you're getting it's a more efficient way of utilizing the light source of the projector. So the uh, so you can extract more brightness." Um, from a, uh, a projector utilizing DLP technology with the same amount of with the same light source, just because of the physical makeup of the of the of the system. Right, and and side benefit when you're steering that light back to the screen, light mm -hmm. comes into the mirror, light goes out. It mm -hmm. doesn't get absorbed by the chip itself, and that impacts reliability. So one of the reasons DLP is so reliable is heat and light are steered away by the mirrors. Mm -hmm. And that and that is a good point. That's the only reason why they're a lot of times they'll be smaller. If you look at um, bigger um, other solutions to get the same type of brightness, the overall chassis size becomes a lot bigger because they got to deal more with cooling and everything else. Now, some other things we talked about 4K. Can you talk about what makes good 4K? Because we hear 4K that term all the time, plus other 4K with a whole bunch of other words behind it. So let's talk about that. Right, so real 4K or true 4K has 8 million pixels. That's how the CTA, Consumer Technology Association, defines the acronym UHD. So real 4K has 8 million pixels. If your projector that you're buying has that acronym UHD, you can feel pretty assured you're gonna get all 8 million pixels. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, some other technologies uh, may say they have 4K, they don't combine it with the acronym UHD. And the reason is uh, they may not be meeting the definition. In fact, you may be getting really half the number of pixels that the definition calls for. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're out there searching for the benefits of 4K, you need real 4K. And that means you need to look for the acronym UHD, 4K UHD. Exactly. Yeah, so many, there's many projectors that can accept the 4K signal but they cannot display a 4K signal. Speaking of displayed resolution, um, there's a lot of confusion about displayed resolution versus native resolution. Can you talk a little bit about that? So native resolution is kind of a technical detail. It refers to the number of mirrors on the actual device. And, and displayed resolution is the number of pixels that you can see on the wall or the screen, uh, the number of pixels that result. So it happens to be that uh, DLP is a very fast technology, very high speed. And so each mirror is capable of rendering four pixels on the screen. And so if you take a typical uh, DLP device of say two million mirrors and you uh, create four pixels on the screen for every mirror on the device, uh, two million times four is eight million. That's where the eight million pixels comes from. That's how we're able to meet the definition 4K UHD. Yeah, so you'll notice on our newer reviews, I'm going to start adding um, a couple of different uh, measurements. The first one's going to be native, the next one's gonna be input, and the last one's gonna be display. <laughs> okay, so so some can accept, is lots of W U um, U X G A projectors that can accept it, but, but it's not gonna display it and it's not its native. 
then there's other ones that can accept it, but uh, oh, and have um, can display it. So being able to understand that, he mentioned that that th those mirrors move super fast. Um, and I go back and forth. Well, it's not showing you all of it at the same time. And you go, well, if you look at a DLP projector, most consumer DLP projectors are single chip units, which means it has a color wheel. And that wheel is spinning, could be six segment, eight segment, whatever. And it has a red, a green, a blue, maybe even a yellow segment in it. And the projector is only showing you one color at a time. But it, the mirrors and the wheel are spinning so fast that your little brain stitches it together. So if you can't see that it's only showing you red at one time and it's only showing you blue at one time, you just see purple. Why do you think that all of a sudden now you can make out that the mirror is actually generating four pixels at the same time? I will challenge you to take a, um, a uh, 4K projector that's equipped with DLP technology and compare it to a native projector and be able to really see the difference. Uh, most of the time what you're seeing has to do more with issues with alignment and conversions or quality of the optics has nothing to do with the other parts of the system. So I, that's something that I really, 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 really want to stress. So when I put down that is a 4K DLP technology projector, it means you're seeing 4K. Speaking of speed that we didn't talk that we didn't talk about, and I want to mention too, it moves really, really fast, which makes a lot of times when you, as a consumer, the fastest, lowest lag gaming projectors for home entertainment utilize DLP. So you're seeing speeds at 4K down to 16 um, um, milliseconds, and you can even these things could even that same imager could also do um, 4K 120 at about eight milliseconds, which with the exception of the most highest gaming monitors, that will far exceed the um, the speed or the reaction time of even the best LCD consumer display. So if you're looking for an advantage, a DLP technology equipped projector as a gaming solution, a lot of times is a great, great option. There's a lot of different size projectors. You guys offer different size chip solutions. And the most popular ones for, for consumers are 0.47 and 0.66. So can you talk about what those are and their benefits? Right, uh, so those are two great 4K UHD devices from DLP technology. Uh, they're, they're both excellent. The 0.664K UHD came first. Um, it has four million mirrors on the device, and each of which creates two pixels on the screen. So that's four million times two, eight million total pixels that you see on the screen. The 0.47 is newer. Uh, it, it has two million mirrors on the device, and each of which creates four pixels on the screen. So in that case, it's two million mirrors times four equals eight million total pixels you see on the screen. They are both great devices. The 0.47 is uh, smaller, so it can make smaller projectors. The 0.66 is bigger, so it can make a little bit brighter projector, but they're both great. Those really, 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 really fast, low lag projectors are utilizing most of the time the newest of your 0.47 imagers, and they are blazing. And, um, and I have some examples from a variety of manufacturers, and it's amazing how, how effective and how fast those mirrors are are moving. Um, and like, and one thing that that uh, Ward wanted me to stress too is um, CTA says if you want to make sure that you're getting true 4K resolution, it is 4K UHD is what needs to be on the box. If you see any of these other things, it's not um, it is not a standard. So you really don't know what you're getting. It may be better than HD, but it does not guarantee that you're actually seeing the 8 million pixels that is found on that image that has 8 million pixels. We spent a lot of time talking about the benefits of DLP technology when it comes to resolution 4K. But there's some other advantages that we should talk about when it comes to reliability and color and things like that. So do you want to cover that real quick? 
Okay, so a couple of things I can think of. Um, one is uh, DLP mirrors and speed um, produce really colorful, beautiful images. It's actually the mirrors and the speed of the mirrors that's doing that. Uh, but the other thing about DLP is it's it's accurate and the accuracy comes from the digital nature of the DLP technology. Um, most other display technologies are analog. That's an older technology and um, subject to inexactness. Uh, it's great to have a digital display technology like DLP. So that's the first thing I would comment on. The second thing I would say is um, LED. Uh, DLP, the way it's architected, DLP technology, the way it's architected, uh, allows it to be used with LED as a light source. And LED has a, an interesting display property. Uh, it's capable of very saturated color. Uh, when you, in real life, when you look at uh, the reddest apple or uh, a Ferrari or a Coke can, the red you're seeing, the, the emotionally connected red that you're seeing, that you really like. The reason you really like it is the saturation. It's how red is red. And uh, you need LED to do that. And uh, DLP technology is um, very compatible with LED. In fact, many, many DLP projectors use LED today. Uh, these produce great emotional saturated uh, uh, displays. And um, it, it happens to be that most competitive technologies are not able to implement the, a light source, an LED light source uh, as efficiently. And then there's a couple other things that we want to cover that I, that for me, um, consumers, whether you're a consumer or a professional, um, low maintenance is an important thing. So, so first thing, accurate pixel convergence. Back in the days when we used to have those big, those big, uh, rear projection TVs that have the red, green, and blue gun, and you have to go in there every once in a while and align them because everything was kind of blurry. Well, well, well a lot of projectors that utilize a multi-chip solution and um, that you would buy as a consumer, you still need to align that. So, so it doesn't matter that the red imager and the blue imager and the green imager have 8.8 .8 million pixels. If they're not perfectly aligned, the image is going to look blurry because a DLP utilizes one uh, consumer DLPs utilize one imager in a DLP technology uh, equipped um, consumer projector. They always stay converged. They always stay aligned. So the image is just as sharp um, with minimal labor um, a year from now or two years from now. So so that's something that I actually love about about projectors is one less thing for me to think about because whenever i get a high-end um multi-chip projector the first thing i got to do is is bring up the crazy ch um, um grid patterns and make sure that everything is perfectly aligned that's one thing that i don't have to do um if i'm looking at any um uh, dlp projector whether it's professional or whether it's um, a consumer based piece the other thing is um talk a little bit about the sealed um, um, optical unit and why it's sealed and what's the benefit to a user? Right. Um, so the subject is dust in a display and, and dust can wreck a display, a projection display um, in two ways. One is it creates image artifacts, the dust, and the other is it occludes the light. Uh, so it blocks light from getting out to the screen and that makes a worse display. The reason that uh, dust does these things in a, in a projector is that you have to cool a projector. It's usually a fan that's cooling it. And when you blow a fan somewhere, dust goes where you blow. And so it turns out that DLP is a reflective technology. Uh, remember the uh, device I showed you, this is the back of it. Um, so light goes in and goes out of one side only. And that gives the opportunity to blow the fan on the non-display side and keep the device cool. So dust goes where you can't see it. Uh, if this were an alternative technology like a transmissive display, light would go in this side and come out this side. There would be uh, nowhere that you could point the fan without blowing dust on the image plane. And so that's one of the unique advantages of DLP. It's reflective and it allows you to create sealed optics and block dust. 
Exactly. So, so if you look at all the benefits, number one, um, rich, vivid colors always stays um, in alignment and converged. Um, the ability to display um, display eight megapixels on screen. Um, the low maintenance of a sealed optics, and when you combine that with the latest um, laser and LED light sources, which are sealed as well, as well you're looking at a virtually um, maintenance-free solution. So, which is great for museums or even your house in a laser TV. So, um, tons and tons and tons of benefits. So, whether you're looking at going to the nicest um, cinema or looking for a large venue solution or portable solution to take camping, there's something from um, that you, that utilizes DLP technology to get the job done. So, Ward, anything else you'd like to talk about before? We let these before we let the audience go. Uh, I think um, you know. Uh, just keep in mind those those um, extra qualities of DLP. You know uh, the beautiful color and images that are coming from the mirrors and the speed of the mirrors. Also, uh, the fact that LED can be combined with DLP so easily and creates such beautiful saturated images, and also. Uh, reliability. I, I mean, uh, think of our our DLP devices like the ones I showed you today that, that are used in cinema. They're used seven days a week, many, many hours a day, many, many years in a row. Think of, compare that to typical consumer electronics. DLP is very, very reliable. Mm -hmm. Now, we could spend a lot more time talking about all the great technologies because we've just touch the tip of the iceberg when it comes to, to DLP technology. To learn more about um, DLP technology, please visit TI backslash DLP for more information, where you can learn about all of the different offerings, the different solutions, and the different use cases for um, DLP technology um, that are that you may not even be aware of. So Wart, thank you very much. Um, for coming, and hopefully everyone has learned something new about DLP technology. Thanks, Philip. Okay, so take care, everyone, and we shall talk to you soon.